Hey, Siren here. Some of you guys have expressed an interest in running podcast styled live streams and I thought it might be helpful to show you what I use and how I set it up. Now this might not be the very best way to set it up and it's certainly not the only way, but it's very simple, you can get started really quickly and it works for me. So let's start. I use OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. It's free and I provided the link below. We'll start by setting up a Skype run webcam scene like the ones we use in Hero Talk. Borrow some of your friends and start a Skype call with the number of people you'll have in your podcast. In lieu of friends, I've got a screenshot of myself calling the test service. It'll work in the same way. First, make sure your Skype window is maximised so that you can ensure that everyone's cam will be in the same place when you actually stream. You'll see why later. Next, open up OBS. OBS is set up in scenes. Let's add our first scene. In the scenes box, right click and press add scene. Give your scene a name. Next, click Preview Stream to set up what your audience will see. This is only a preview, you're not streaming. Now we'll add some video sources. Right click in the sources box or directly on the preview screen. Go to Add and Image. We're adding our podcast overlay here, which is a PNG image with transparent boxes. So navigate to your file. Now we want our webcams to display inside the boxes, so we'll add another source. To add another source, right click, add and monitor capture. Make sure you have the right monitor selected if you have more than one. Check the subregion box, then click select region. Let's move this out of the way so we can see better. You'll now have a semi-transparent, resizable box. Resize and position this to fit over your webcam area. When you're done, press OK and ignore the Windows error warning, it's fine. So my webcam, or my picture which is standing in for my webcam, appears on the preview. Now we need to get it into the right place. Making sure that you have the webcam source highlighted, click Edit. A red box appears around the source to show that it's resizable and movable. Just drag it into position and resize as required. Now, to get this to appear nicely in the frame, we want to push it behind the overlay. Right click on the source, go to Order and click Move Down. That's it. Now, go back and repeat this step for all of your guests so that you've region captured each webcam. Position each source as you like and you're done. If you want to go back and edit the region, just double click on the source, click select region and the region highlight box pops back up and you can resize and reposition it as required. OBS is also really good for streaming gameplay. Let's set that up now. Let's add another scene by right clicking in the scenes box and pressing add scene. Give your scene a name, we're going to call this one Games. Now let's add some video sources. Right click in the sources box, go to Add and select Game Capture. And up pops the Game Capture window. Now from the drop down, select the application you want to stream, in this case Dota 2. And don't forget you can choose whether or not to capture your mouse cursor. Now if we preview the stream, you can see my Dota 2 window. Often when gamers stream, they have their webcam displayed in the corner of the screen, so let's set that up as well. Add the source by right-clicking, going to Add and selecting Video Capture. Give the source a name and make sure that your webcam is selected in the drop-down box. Press OK. And there I am. Hello. Now. Click Edit Scene, the red box comes up to show us that it's editable and we can just resize it and reposition it to however you like. Occasionally when using the game capture setting you might find that it just displays a black screen. From what I've read this seems to be more common with games that have anti-hack and anti-cheat mechanisms. You can get around this by using a different source mode, Window Capture. To set this up, right click, Add and select Window Capture. Give the capture a name. 
From the drop down box, select the window that you want to capture, in this case Dota 2. And there you go, it works just fine. Now there is a difference I should mention between these two modes. If you're using window capture to stream your game and you bring up the Steam display and start chatting to your friends, your audience will see that. If you're using game capture and you bring up the Steam display and perhaps chat to your friends, your audience won't see that. So in the first instance I would recommend using a game capture mode. It's worked for all the games I've tried, I haven't had a problem so far. And it does mean that you can quite safely tab out, chat, whatever, without subjecting your audience to your multitasking. Of course you could always switch scenes too, you can hot switch between scenes while live and streaming. This is really useful if you're doing something like streaming gameplay while simultaneously having a video discussion, as you can set up both scenes and switch between the gameplay and your video discussion, making for a really dynamic and interesting stream. You can bind each scene to a key by right clicking on the scene and pressing edit hotkey. Now we'll take a look at the basic settings. The default settings are mostly OK, but we'll look at the basic things that you need to check. Each profile is the collection of scenes you've created, and obviously you can have several. Click encoding and check your max bitrate. Twitch recommend that you set this at 80% of your upload speed, or 3300, whichever is lower. I think the default is 1000, and I've always found that to be fine. In broadcast settings, Set your streaming service to the one you're using, in my case Twitch. Enter your stream key and select the server nearest to you. You can check the save to file box to save a local copy of your stream, which is useful if you want to edit it later. Now we'll check the video resolution settings. Generally, you'll want your resolution to be your monitor's base resolution. However, you can downsize the resolution if you find you're having trouble maintaining the quality of your stream. In audio, check that your input and output devices are set correctly. You can also set a push to talk button and a mic mute button. And there you go! Thanks for watching, I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Best of luck and happy streaming!